Welcome to a special episode from the Retail Cloud Alliance. In this episode, we'll explore how generative AI tools like ChatGPT are impacting every corner of the retail landscape. By tapping into the potential of AI, retailers can influence everything from purchasing patterns, personalized recommendations, chatbot interactions, training methods, and much more. So join us as we take a deep dive into the world of AI and retail and discover how experts in the industry are tackling this new technology and creating a roadmap for the future. When it comes to generative AI, I think the key point is about the exponential nature of this technology, which then obviously means there's a substantial opportunity also for retail. I think there's a number out there saying from Gartner, the opportunity is at least 730 billion. So what we mean by this exponential nature is that Gen AI will not be like three times better in the future. It might not even be a thousand times better. It's gonna be like 10,000 times better. We actually don't know. And the reason for that is we're slowly starting to move from predicting to reasoning. And right now Gen AI is, is like the smartest thing and the dumbest thing at the same time because we all know we ask these questions and we get these weird answers and it's saying, oh, I wasn't properly trained or whatever it might be. But what has happened now is that every leader is talking about using Gen AI in some way, shape or form. And I mean, why shouldn't they? The possibilities are unimaginable. We actually do not know what's going to happen. And what we talk about today is going to be different from what we talk about in the next six months and the next six months after that. Right now, generative AI is really impacting retailers, I would say kind of in three different ways. So there's experiences that are customer facing that are going to have AI directly embedded into them or leading them. There's experiences where AI is going to enable new types of things. And then there's just efficiencies and back of house processes that are going to really change the way it works for retailers. I would really think first and foremost about personalized recommendations. So AI is really going to supercharge this. So it's going to both produce a vast amount of customer data in and of itself, and it's going to be able to generate lots of personalized recommendations based on that data. So it's sort of a self-fulfilling kind of self-propagating machine that it's going to create. Um, so retailers will be able to you know, understand individual preference, shopping history, online behavior, tailor products directly to their customers. Um, so that will increase sales, you know, and the overall improved customer expectations with retailers. This is all about meeting the customer where they're at in their buying journey. You want to be able to personalize that experience to connect with your customer at the right time and with the right products. The use of generative AI can help improve chatbots, personalized recommendations, or honestly help train your customer success team to ensure they've got easier access to the information to answer questions for customers. It can also assist an organization when they improve product descriptions or some of those images to drive better engagement as well. Ultimately, you can use those insights from your chatbots or your customer success team to learn more about your customers, where their needs are and where their interests lie. And having quick information or quick access to information is a key piece to impacting your customers' happiness and, frankly, satisfaction with your organization. This increase to accessible data, I think, is allowing retailers to now be better able to track their customers, analyze those behaviors and patterns in ways they just hadn't really had before. So when you combine this access to data with the advances in generative AI, analytics in general, retailers are beginning to derive their own advanced insights into their customers' behavior. The way in which retailers are jumping into this is more from initially from the customer side. How can I understand customer behavior and offer personalization? Personalization is a big area where uh, retailers are starting to branch out and see more experiments. Uh, for example, Levi's uh, is trying to use to understand what kind of styles and what kinds of colors and fashions uh, are appealing to customers. Now you can use generative AI to come up with more options and experiments and use that as a basis for making your choices or decisions of what to offer. Retailers are going to continue to leverage data and analytics to not only improve the customer experience, but also drive customer behavior, increase revenue, and all of that. But increasingly, they're going to have to also leverage AI, generative AI specifically, to achieve these goals while also ensuring customer privacy. We need to make sure that we, the data we share and the data we make use of, which also has a touch for the personal privacy lens, uh, that we share that in a way that makes sense and is also in agreement legally with the content sources, the ownership, and also me as an individual. Sometimes I like to talk about the fact that 
my private sphere ends at the end of my arm because in my hand I have my phone. So a lot of times when we think about, hey, I want to give a person the perfect offering, well, you might not want to push that onto a big digital display in a store, but I'm perfectly fine seeing it on my phone. Yeah, there are definitely ethical concerns that we need to address when it comes to, to thinking about generative AI. Um, these tools like ChatGPT, they hold like an immense possibility for the future. Um, a lot of people have said this is, you know, quote, an iPhone moment. I think it may even be bigger than an iPhone moment. Um, to put that in context, you know, we've spent years and years as a society putting everything we have on the internet and learning how to use the internet. And then for the first time, the internet is learning how to interface with us. And that's really an, an entirely different model. And so we don't understand the ethical implications of how AI and kind of changing the whole dynamics of the internet is gonna, is gonna affect our society moving forward. AI is something that I have no doubt is going to have some regulatory frameworks around. There are just too many um, very intelligent people who built versions of this AI that are calling for that. The EU is calling for it. Um, you know, even there are American politicians that are that are calling for it as well. It's almost inevitable. And if it doesn't happen at a federal level in the United States, it will happen at a state level. As access to data increases through AI and other technologies, retailers will continue to be challenged by tightening privacy rules and regulations around the acceptable use of this PII or personally identifiable information. And that's going to be something that I think you're going to be re relying increasingly on, on generative AI and uh, analytics to, to help solve. You know, ultimately, it is the retailer's responsibility to ensure that any data that they use, track, maintain on their customers does not violate any existing privacy laws or regulations. AI poses a lot of ethical challenges. As we have seen in the few months after ChatGPT3 was introduced, there's already a lot of people asking questions about how this is changing the moral and ethical codes of the society. And there's a good reason why this is the case, because as we discussed earlier, generative AI may not be accurate, could be biased, could be discriminatory. And these are areas where ethics, morality, are strongly involved. You have bias and, you know, kind of that's that's a huge, huge problem in in all of AI, not just in, in generative AI. You, you know, kind of things like facial recognition often is completely off or natural language processing can, you know, kind of leave out, you know, kind of enormous groups of, of consumers because it wasn't fed into the initial data set. The biggest limitation, frankly, is, is just missing information. When AI can use the information based on existing content, it absolutely brings those elements together and creates a great comprehensive proper response. Generative AI though, is still relies at the end of day on those data-driven algorithms. You know, ChatGPT4, for example, was only released in March and it has data only up until September of 2021. So it's going to struggle in ways of generating content in the most recent past as of now. So that limitation can be overcome obviously with time as more recent data sources are added. And as the tool continues to grow and learn from information in the recent past, that'll continue to improve. In our next episode, as part of the Modern Retail Experience series, we'll explore the game-changing impact of cloud technologies on the retail industry. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first in line to watch the latest episodes.